<laughs> and welcome back to the All Sports Show, live from the front uh, bar Cable. of the uh, Premier Idiot. Hotel. Um, it was a massive year for the Newcastle North Stars, and, and this city needed something, and they provided in spades. With us, we've got Coach Andrew Petrie and John Kennedy Jr. To my left is John. Yo. Welcome to the Newcastle North Stars. And congratulations, yeah. boys. And congratulations. Yeah. yeah. There it is. North Stars. Thanks, Good old trophy. The, the 1909 third oldest trophy. Uh, ice hockey trophy still played for in the world. Biggest prop Correct. we've ever had on the show. We love a good prop, Keeves. Biggest prop. Look <laughs> at it. Welcome and Bigger congratulations. What a great day it was. We watched it. We were, we were watching it in our homes. I Tweeting, absolutely loved it. Each other. loved it. We'll go and berserk. It. Um, talk us through it, mate. How did? How are you going with two minutes to go? Then we scored. Well, then you scored and we scored. We're all scored. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I didn't score. Well, I, didn't, I, didn't, I haven't scored for a while. I've anyway, got to do it. Um, nice score. Too, how, are you, how are you feeling then with... Obviously, you were thinking we're home or not. Yeah, to be honest with you, I did. We uh, we went a long time at one-one there. We went uh, yep. a little more than half the game at one-one, and uh, you know, no real chances going either way. And then we scored that goal with only a minute and forty something yeah. left. I thought, well, every, everything else being equal, we're probably okay here. And so, uh, so yeah. talk us through when they scored then, because then it went to two all yeah. about forty seconds later. Yeah, so that was uh, that was pretty disappointing to be honest. <laughs> it's um. Because you know that you're going to go to sudden death now and absolutely anything can happen. You need to bounce. You, you know, uh, it's, it's no longer the best team. It's the luckiest team at that point. And yep. thankfully we came out on that side of the ledger. The, the commentary was massively biased towards Melbourne. Like oh. massively. It was, and it was embarrassing. The, they must have been on the It was embarrassing. They were on the source. Yeah, they? That, that's yeah. okay. So it worked. They conducted professional sports presentation. They, they kept drinking. saying, you, you look tired. You look like you're gone. And, and, yeah. and, and the, the, the result, that penalty goal was just amazing. It's oh. just uh, great to watch. And, and as we know, the social media went berserk through oh, Newcastle. Was, we it must, have been, must yeah. have been good to have that support of the local community after such a long time. Did you enjoy it? Jo where, 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 what were you thinking, John, when it was too old? Were you thinking it was still a chance? Uh, going into the locker room, yeah. probably, like, when it first happened, no. It was just like, did we really just let that go? Yeah. Like, because yeah. in your mind, you're thinking, like, I'm about to throw my gloves off. Yeah. Do I want to go to the left, <laughs> to the right? Where do, where's my sit going? But, like... Once that happened, it definitely deflated us, but it's just like, what can you do? Yeah. You can't wallow in it. So mm -hmm. we went back to the locker room, and that was a big thing. Just, all right, it's done, it's over with. Let's get back up again, and let's go for it. So, If you haven't seen it, the penalty goal at the end was just fantastic because to the un uninitiated, it was just a really intense moment where all of a sudden it's one-on-one, -on -one, Player, keeper, this is it. And they're at the end, it, oh, there's great YouTube you know clips what are the, where people I mean, you it. You see it in, in oh. the ice hockey movies, you know. You don't yeah. really yeah. going to happen in Australian hockey league. Yeah. Ducks, it was almost ducks, it, it, ducks, ducks, ducks. <laughs> <laughs> we were, we're going to do, we're, we're do the flying V at one yeah, point too. Yeah, yeah. But it, it, it's like that, isn't it? I mean, uh, 2,000 people in the building, including all the playing and management staff, coaching staff, holding their collective breath, wondering yeah, yeah. what's going to happen. So the, either, either he's going to score and, and we win, or he's going to miss, or the goal is going to save it and we have to keep going. So, mm. yeah, it's a, it's a big moment. And the it, pressure's all on the scorer there too. On the, on the, not, yeah. Yeah, the, the goal Wait, has got nothing to lose. Yeah. I, I take my hat off to Brian Bales to be able to yeah. go in that oh. situation and then, like, seal the deal. If that was me, I probably would have freaked out. I would have just, like, my hands would have started shaking. <laughs> if I would have got the puck on that, I would have been happy. <laughs> <laughs> like in, in soccer, we, they talk about, you know, who's going to take the penalty. What happens in that situation? Does Brian just step up and say, I'm doing it, boys? Or is there a no, predetermined well, thing? No, I have the exact opposite. Brian uh, flat refused all year to take penalty shots. Is that right? Flat refused. So the only arguments I ever had with anyone on the team was, you know, trying to get Brian to take a penalty shot, and he just flat refused. But the, the interesting change in uh, during the flow of the game is that, if the infraction occurs against you and you're not injured, then you must take the penalty right. shot. Yeah. Okay. So he wasn't aware of that. He came to the bench, um, you know, saying, you know, do I have to, do I have to? And I'm like, you just get out there and do yeah. this. And I was going to ask that question because I, I, I thought the same thing in soccer. That any guy could take it. Brian took it and took it so well. I don't yeah. know what, he's, yeah. what he was nervous about. Yeah, he's just, uh, I, it's a lot of pressure, you know. It's, mm. uh, you've got the expectations of your entire team, your entire city. Um, yeah, it's a long season. Uh, it all comes down to one uh, one shot on net, so it's a lot of pressure. But he did a phenomenal job and uh, buried the puck, and uh, the, the rest is history, I guess. Yeah. How, have you, remember, sorry, how yeah. have you found the results, or well, the the reception from the town? Has that changed over the last couple of? How long how long have you been associated with the team? Uh, me personally, yeah. th this was my first season. I, I coached one of the Sydney teams the year before. How have you seen the the reaction from Newcastle compared to anything else that you've been a associated with? Look, it's been extraordinary. I've played ice hockey in Australia for over 35 years and um, played in three states. Um, and and the, uh, the way that Newcastle people embrace sport generally, uh, you know, you hear a lot of uh, vernacular in Australia about Melbourne being the, mm. the sporting yep. mecca. Of, uh, I disagree. I think uh, new people in Newcastle uh, come in, you know, first by a long way. You, you weren't associated with those dirty ice dogs, were you? 
<laughs> yeah, right, Sorry, uh, you, you knew the answer. <laughs> you knew the answer already. You're breaking up, mate. You're breaking <laughs> up. <laughs> John, uh, uh, can Kurt, you can Kurt, you recall Kurt. a moment in, in the in the locker room afterwards or on the ice that that the, the, the whole uh, obviously there's euphoria, everyone's hugging. Was there one particular moment where you were able to reflect on what an achievement that was? To reflect on the like the championship. Yeah, on, on, yep. on, uh, in that moment, yeah. In that moment, like when it's happening, like there's no words that can explain it. Like it's just all these emotions just rush to you. You realize just like, wow, we did it. Uh, the whole long season, 28 games plus a grand final weekend. It's just it all accumulated to that one moment. I know you're giving me the look because I didn't play all 28 <laughs> games. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, I played, uh, what, two seasons before that. So, hey, but, no uh, team. Yeah, but pretty much all those emotions just come together. I think you kind of realize it, like, after the fact, like a day or two after, and then when you come back home, you get off the plane and you have fans there celebrating and you're, you're carrying this thing around, you realize the magnitude of it. Because there's a moment, like, uh, and a lot of NRL teams do it now, and, 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 you know, as part of the media, you watch the, like, NRL grand final, we're only a couple of, we're a week away from that, but the team that wins now, there's this almost like a tradition, they win, and the media, we're still there banging out stories late in the night. One by one, the players go out and the coaching staff go out and they'll, they'll actually just stand in the middle of the field and just have a, a, a private... Uh, they, uh, they think it's a private moment, but the journalists and the, the yeah. photographers are all still there taking photos. Did you guys have that at any stage, like a private moment as a, among yourselves? On the ice, you're talking about keeps? Oh, on the uh, ice, so back in the hotel room? Or? I, w I would say our private moment was uh, when we were on... I guess it wasn't so private. It was. Uh, well, it, yeah, yeah. Let's just clarify where we're going what ice we're on. <laughs> 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 private moment in the hotel room, yeah? Like, the rink. Uh, it was, it it was exciting. Private moment in the hotel room on the ice. What yeah. ice are you yeah. talking yeah. about? Are oh, you talking about the frozen stuff? <laughs> Damn. Loose. But, uh, yeah, we had a post game. Uh, whenever we had a win, we had a fight song that we would do Cut as a off. team. Cut him off. And collectively, we did that together on the ice. And yeah, like, yeah everyone on the saw ice. that. They're on the ice, Kurt. Yeah, <laughs> so we were just huddled together as a team, as one unit. And when we did that, it was just like we did it, boys. So yeah, that was yeah, that was, was probably at that moment. For, for Andrew, you said you've been involved for a long time. How, how have you found that the 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 Australian Ice Hockey League itself? It, it seems to just be growing really nicely and bubbling along yeah. nicely. You're not going to Competitions that you know come out in a blaze of glory often fade away very quickly as right. well. Yep. The ice hockey, obviously, as you said, 1909. Obviously, the wars took took out a few years, but over the last probably 10 years, it's sort of just been getting a bit more traction, hasn't it? It's growing a bit Absolutely. more. Absolutely, yeah. It's um, I was out of it for a while actually when I got the call up to uh, the, the dirty ice dogs, as you call them. <laughs> um, no, I don't call them. All of Newcastle everyone calls them. Calls them that. <laughs> Kurt, <spit> again. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> one of the one of the first things I noticed when I came back was the uh, the talent level, um, not just of the uh, the imports, but the collective talent level. The the local playing talent was uh, extraordinary, and it's um, you know, I speak to a lot of people. I know uh, a lot of the other coaches around the league are guys I've played hockey with uh, as a junior and, and and more recently, and all of us, whenever we talk about it, just marvel at the standard of play. You know, the the skill level, the the flow of the game. It, it's extraordinary, and I think that. That probably that's what's really driving it along. You you pay money to come and sit, and you get genuine entertainment. Yeah. Like it's it's legit entertainment. So I think uh, the AIHL and the people that are driving that are doing a fantastic job, and and they're doing it incrementally. And I, I think yeah. that's probably why they're being successful. Yeah. And um, of course, uh, before the finals, we had Geordie Woodrick on Woodrick Woodrick yeah. on here. Yeah. Uh, he's the league MVP, finals MVP. Are we any yeah. chance getting him back because he was something else, wasn't he? Oh, Le leading leading uh, goal scorer, leading point scorer, which is a it's a it's a accumulation of points and it's just ten goals. Yeah. He, he set a record, a league record for most points. He uh, I think he equaled the record for goals in a season. Uh, but look, to be honest, just take a minute about Geordie. Um, first and foremost, to answer your question, we'd we'd move heaven and earth to get the guy back, and not because of all, any of that stuff. Uh, all of that comes in second to the quality of this guy as a human being. Yeah, he looks just like a real good bloke. Just yeah. an extraordinarily good bloke who played his heart and soul out every single shift, not just during games, but practices as well, you know. Uh, 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 what's, the, what's the term? Uh, like a key professional or a, yeah. a, a perfect professional, you know. And how's, that, how's that work with visas and stuff? I don't really know. Because yeah. <laughs> that was his point to us. He that's said, that's I don't know how we're going to... That's job, mate. You yeah. Know, but, but, but Geordie said to us, I don't know how it works with the, vi with the visa stuff. You, you need yeah. to sort that out. I, I can back. teach you how to shoot a puck, but not how to get into the country, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Kurt, get on it. Yeah, yeah not my job. Yeah. Consider he's got a visa to Hamilton. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There was Home a nice Street. synergy as well that um, even though, even before you won it, that the All-Star weekend was in Newcastle. Yep. So how was that weekend? It was obviously two, two big days out there as well. It's a good celebration. Oh, no, it was a lot of fun. 
Yeah. Like, I mean, it was pretty laid back. You get to uh, have all the players from the league there. And we're not trying to compete for, like, this thing right here. Yep. So guys are chill, laid back, just showing their skills off. And I think it was overall pretty good. Were the skills better on in at Warners Bay ice skating or at the nightclubs at that night? <laughs> well, this was the nightclub. Uh, I don't know if they've got any CCTV, yeah. but I wouldn't want to watch it. Check, check the tape, check the tape. Yeah. How good a feeling Love was it, premium. John, to have the, that trophy on display for uh, All-Star Weekend with all the, other, all the players coming in the same way? Like, where was that? In the middle of the ice? Or? <laughs> from, like full, of ice, full of ice. Uh, full of ice. I would like to think I'm a humble guy, but, like, we had those conversations where you see other teams and everything. It's just like, yeah. wait, did you? Yeah. No, wait, wait did, did you win the game? Uh, oh, we won the game. Uh, oh, yeah. We're still on air. <laughs> We're still on air. Yeah, so. What do you, what do you see? How can, how can Newcastle or the, the North Stars take the, uh, take the game or take the team to, a, to another stage? Is there, is there an investment in the, in, the, in the club, in the stands, in the crowd? How, how, how does it lift up a notch? Yeah, look, there's probably 10 different answers to that. I mean, one of the challenges that I'm, I'm sure the ownership of the club and uh, you know, Gary Dore are very happy about is now they've got to find ways to get more people in the building. You know, they've, they've got to create more seating uh, and all the infrastructure that supports that. Um, as a club, as a, as a coach, we, you know, the, the plan now is just to implement um, more repeatable structures and, and strategies and bring a little bit more professional I professionalism again and take a lead from the, from the league and just do it incrementally. You know, not try and make sweeping changes all at once, but just do it bit by bit, piece by piece. Well, big, big round of applause to Gary Dore, because he's worked, he's worked yeah. tirelessly for years, mate. Well done. Um, <laughs> fantastic result to you, mate. Well done. Um, you. You've had a lot of heartbreak and tears over the years, but this one must have been very sweet. He's off camera. He's loving it. He's still smiling. <laughs> yeah. It's funny, bright here. We can see him smile. Yeah. Here he is. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Well done, well done. So, um, no, well done. He's to not you. on the ice. No, he's not. He's been on the beers. I'll bet he's had a couple of quiet ones. Um, what, where to from here for you, Andrew? What, next year's already in, in line, or are you back? Yeah. Are they signed up again for next year? Or yeah, well, no, we, we didn't sign anything the first time around. We, <laughs> Gary and I, had a, we've known each other a really long time. We had a couple of chats. We agreed how we were going to do it, and um, to his uh, immense credit, you know, he's uh, delivered ev on every promise and then some. So uh, I'll be more than happy to come back next year, and um, as hard as this thing is to win, it's going to be even harder to defend, so yeah. we've got our work cut out for well, us. Well, that's what's going to happen now, isn't it? They're going to keep coming for, yeah. for, for that, that title, aren't they, for that trophy? Of course. I mean, and that's what you play for. I mean, like you said, it's hard enough to get it, but to mm. keep it here is the big thing. So I guess for us, it's pretty much our off-season, getting ready the right training and everything like that. Enjoying the moment, but coming back. If I steal it, they can't get it back. <laughs> good, <laughs> luck, good luck good with that, luck. mate. Good luck. You're not back <laughs> training yet. I, I question your commitment. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Same with the Hamilton Hawks. They should hey, all uh, be training. <laughs> but Kurt, I, ice hockey's a sprint, not a marathon, yeah, mate. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, well answered. Um, congratulations, gentlemen, and congratulations to the whole N Newcastle North Stars uh, organisation. It was Fantastic. it was a shining light in what's been a pretty dour year for, or two for Newcastle sports, and yeah. we were all behind, and we love it, and we, we've been t keeping in touch with Pete since the show started because we knew he wanted you to be part of it, and um, you delivered in spades for us as well as yourself. So well done, gentlemen. Thank Big you. round of applause for these guys, and thanks, thanks for boys. bringing the cup in. There she is, <laughs> eh? Hey? Hey? Geez, that's a big bastard, isn't it, Fordo? Well, I thought the, gonna, I thought the drinking right. vessel might have been bigger, but it's just one big lump of wool with a that's small a shot cup for you. That's a shot that's for you, actually, Fordo. It's very, it weighs at 13 kilos. We had to put <laughs> it on the plane, say, right? That's a shot. A shot for you. That, that's a shot. That's a anyway, shot for you. Anyway, I'm getting right? a bad rap here tonight. I'm getting a bad we rap here tonight. We're going to have a small break small and come back very soon to, to basically wrap up the year. So, uh, big round of applause. We'll see you very soon back here at the All Sports Thank Show. Thanks for having us, guys. Thanks, boys. Thanks,